This project is on augmented reality. My name is Noan Fainu. At the dawn of the 21st century, we could divide our world into two types of people at any given moment. Those with their face in the screen, and those who do not have. The screen-facing folks increasingly have been able to communicate with others over great distances, pull up information about any topic which piques their interest, and can entertain themselves indefinitely. However, they also suffer the experience of being in a fully human-created environment, which despite all its amazingness, can never replicate the complexity of reality. Reality-bound people, on the other hand, experience layer upon layer of information coming through their senses, exposing them to new experiences at every turn. But naturally, much goes in one ear and comes out the other without the knowledge actually being gained or processed. Enter augmented reality. As stated by Paul Milgram, this is a state of being between 100% virtual world and 100% real world. Augmented reality is exactly what the name states, a real augmented by the virtual. So what does this look like? One of the key pieces to the widespread adoption of augmented reality is ubiquitous computing. Nobody would carry around a device that was used exclusively to do, bring these two worlds together. But a multifunctional device like the smartphone many of us now carry can easily be co-opted into this role. In fact, many of us have already experienced or used augmented reality. If you're out and you see an ad that catches your fancy, for more information, the QR code leads you to a website on your phone. This is augmented reality. You're driving to visit a new friend. They gave you their address and you plug it into your smartphone. A voice guides you directly to their doorstep. You have just used augmented reality. These are just the start though. As useful as these tools are, they're the tip of the iceberg. And of course, this iceberg could like rip a hole in traditional education. Two concepts which may be enriched through our AR are constructivism and situated learning. So imagine entering a class that is based on AR. Students are told to use their class to create the perfect Lego Man society. A couple students are working on engineering a virtual bridge between desks, while others are debating how to best arrange a series of blocks which represent houses to create a good neighborhood. In such a class, students are more free to progress, digress, and explore. Shang Yu Wang states that AR is well aligned with constructivist notions of education, where learners control their own learning through an active interactions with real and virtual environments. The next school you visit has students running across the grounds. Combining geocaching and QR codes have made this environment rich for learning. An informational layer has covered the school grounds and students are taking in the history, environmental science, and poetry of the natural world all at once. Gunnar Leistel expressed AR well in saying that it becomes possible to extend the situatedness of learning and education in new ways. So, what of the future for AR? Google Glass showed up last year and Apple now has a wearable in its own product line. Perhaps, however, the best proof of concept so far in AR has been through Microsoft in creating the HoloLens. Regardless of how well this will sell, when the three biggest tech companies take up projects in AR, it's time to listen. I hope you've enjoyed this brief intro to augmented reality. Have a nice day! Created using Powtoon.